let's all be nerds today, shall we? Hey guys, it's Helen, and no, your eyes did not deceive you. That is an X, but it is a fake X. First things first, apologies that there wasn't a video last week, but this week I'm going to tell you a little bit about why that was, because it was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of fun. So last weekend, I went to Grand Rapids Comic Con for the second time, and I only went for a day. I went for Saturday, which is the busiest day, and I had so much fun last year just walking around, so I decided to step it up a little bit this year. This year... I decided to go as Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon 2. I have a couple pictures. What? There's this one, there's this awesome one, and also this really professional one that MI Geek Scene took of me. Thank you very much for offering me that. I will include a link to their website below. They took a lot of pictures of the cons and they take a lot of pictures of uh, nerdy gatherings around Michigan. So give them some love. They're really great and they were super nice. Yeah, I spent a good, um, <laughs> almost my entire Thursday and Friday trying to get that costume ready. That included uh, adding extra stuff to the skirt, making the pauldrons, which by the way I made out of grocery bags and duct tape. I used nearly an entire roll of duct tape in this costume. I made the headband and I also made the axe. Wherever it is. Actually, I'm actually really proud of this for some reason because it looks like semi-decent. Obviously, I don't have the budget to do everything that's spot on. I couldn't do the hood, I couldn't do the shoes, I didn't have the time or the money. But I had a lot of fun. Some kids recognized me as Astrid, which was probably the greatest thing. I saw so many amazing costumes. It was a lot of fun. I had the time of my life. It was just, it was very tiring. Um, I forgot my charger at home. I brought the adapter, but I didn't bring the actual cord, which, you know, go me. Of course I would do that. So, I was also, it was really refreshing because I wasn't on my phone the whole time. If you remember last year, I got this little pop vinyl figure of Hiccup. I was on the lookout for a Toothless one or an Astrid one or any other How to Train Your Dragon one. Sadly, I couldn't find any time. They had good programming. The costume contest, there were a lot of people at the costume contest. Some really... I, I mean, I, can, I, I, th I worked hard and I tired myself out doing mine. I cannot imagine the hours and days that go into making these fantastic costumes. If you're like a full-time cosplayer and like this is what you do and like this is your hobby and you love it, I salute you. My goodness, you take so much. The con itself was a lot of fun. I spent, I think, about 10 hours at the con itself and then afterwards, I have to tell you about this because this is actually something that you can go experience depending on if it's coming to your city. The Grand Rapids Symphony put on DreamWorks Animation in Concert. The concert hall was in the same building as the con itself, so basically all I had to do in between was uh, go down to my car, put the axe away because I figured they wouldn't want to, uh, to bring, it, bring a fake axe in even if it was fake. It felt a little bit out of place because it is a nerdy themed concert, but it, it's, a, it's a professional symphony concert and there were people dressed up really nice. And there I am in kind of my half-complete Astrid cosplay. And I told a few people um, about the con itself, um, just because uh, people people were asking me questions about why I do so many costumes. So I got to be um, a little bit informative for them. As soon I sat in the fourth row, <laughs> and uh, they had stuff playing on the screen. I think one of my tweets went on the screen beforehand, which was fantastic. So everybody <laughs> knew that there was a cosplayer in the house. <laughs> Amazing. And then it started, and for those of you who are not aware of what exactly DreamWorks Animation in Concert entails, they are not only playing selections from all these different DreamWorks movies, they're playing these scenes on the screen as they're happening. So they had some montages of all the films set to some music, and they also had very specific films, and I have the program here. I just want to tell you guys a little bit of what they played. But they had like the opening introduction, they played music from, that involved music from How to Train Your Dragon, yay! Uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, Over the Hedge, Sinbad, which is interesting because not a lot of people know about Sinbad. Sinbad is actually like a pretty good move. So they played the, one of the battle scenes from Kung Fu Panda, it's the dumpling scene where Shifu is fighting um, Poe over the dumpling, which is my favorite scene in the movie by far. Um, they played um, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I haven't seen that, but now having like seen uh, one of the pivotal scenes accompanied by the score, I think I actually want to go see it now. A montage set to something from Rise of the Guardians. They 
played some the, a dance scene from Puss in Boots. Oh, it was so great. Um, they played another montage with music from Monsters vs. Aliens, and they played uh, a couple of scenes from Rise of the Guardians, actually. Rise of the Guardians, if you haven't seen it, I think is probably the most underappreciated DreamWorks film ever. Um, it's so gorgeous. And then there was the intermission, and then <laughs> the interactive was This is Birth from Dragons. So that was like the second Dragons piece of the night. Uh, they played the theme from The Croods, which I actually have on my Spotify playlist, and I love hearing that played live. That's another one that I'm like, I've heard the music, now I really need to go watch it. I haven't watched it yet. I'm so sorry, Chris Sanders. You make great movies. I'm sorry I haven't watched it yet. They played some selections from Madagascar, which is scored by Hans Zimmer. I had no idea. Um, another montage set to some B movie music. They played so many songs from Shrek, or like Shrek Medley, which you knew was coming, and then, and then, the magnum opus of DreamWorks. They played Forbidden Friendship Live from How to Kill Your Dragon with that scene, and then they played like the last 10 minutes of How to Train Your Dragon 2, and my heart just like grew three sizes like the Grinch. I'm like, I love these movies, but hearing all this music live just made me fall in love with them all over again. Oh my gosh. And then they played an encore. I can't remember what the encore was. Um, if you just look at the composers who composed music for DreamWorks, we have Hans Zimmer, Danny Elfman, Al Alexander Desplat, who's I didn't know who did Rise of the Guardians, but it's gorgeous. Henry Jackman, who does a lot of Disney stuff. Alan Silvestri, Hans Zimmer. Did I say Hans Zimmer already? I did. Rupert Gregson Williams, Harry Gregson Williams, shout out to the Gregson Williams brother, and Harry Gregson Williams, I, lo I still love your Narnia score the best, but your Shrek score is really good too. And finally, John Powell, Eugene, yes, follow him on Facebook if you aren't already. He posts snippets from all the movies he's ever done. He also has a really cute dog that he posts pictures of, like, a lot. Just, just go, just go like his Facebook page. I just love hearing all the, seeing all this music live, and it was really interesting because I was up in the, really close to the front. And the conductor conducts with the screen as well. And if you're uh, familiar a little bit with how movie scoring works, a lot of times you'll have like the screen and you need to make sure your music keeps in time so you have like a little blip that goes across the screen on the, on the conductor screen, not on the big screen, um, as measures go by and as tempo changes. So it was really interesting to see uh, him interact with the orchestra. Um, the concert does come to various cities. It wasn't just a Grand Rapids thing. It does come to various cities. I believe it just started this year. Um, I'm going to include some links uh, to where you can buy tickets for any other cities that it's going to. I highly, highly, highly recommend you check it out. Um, I had such a great time. I love hearing live music and now I have all this great music to do homework by and all these movies that I need to watch. I kind of want to watch like marathon all the DreamWorks movies now. <laughs> There are some new things up on uh, DTP, etc. I just posted my uh, review of The Iron Giant, another underappreciated gem, which you guys need to go watch. And I just posted a review of The Black Cauldron because it is nearly Halloween and that movie is scary. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to my main channel. I make new videos every single week. I will make sure I keep doing that unless I really get burned out again. Um, you can follow me on my second channel. Sometimes I do vlogs over there. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Tumblr. Um, I've posted a lot of my cosplay pictures there, so if you want to see more of those, you can go to any of those. And of course, check out DDP, etc. I post new articles each week on the blog and whenever big news breaks. Thank you so much, very much for watching. Remember to keep living awesome lives, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.